Hello my beautiful people, welcome back. Today I want to, um, um, I still want to continue the conversation about real modesty and, uh, and, the, and why I'm using the word real modesty because I want to talk about modesty but I, just, I don't just want to talk uh, about the way we dress but I want to go a step further. I want to talk to, to, to you today about the way we act and the way we, uh, and the way we judge people and the way maybe uh, maybe. We look at ourselves, and maybe because now it's summer, I think it's something easy to slip in as, as for you for Christians, because we see maybe the world world dresses differently differently th than we do. So it's, it's, uh, it can really become easy if um, uh, easy to maybe to judge people who doesn't wear modest clothes. That's what I'm trying to say. So I want to share. Uh, I want to share a Bible verse with you, and then we continue the conversation. The Bible verse, or what I'm referring to to you today, is is Luke, um, is Luke 18 until 9. It's about two men who are, um, uh, who are standing in front of God, and uh, one is a tax collector, and he said, "Oh God, I am so." I will also um, I will also mention the the Bible verse um, in the comments, so you can look it up for yourself, and, may, and you can go and just and. Uh, uh, why do I why do I put it there in the comments? Because I want you to go and to study this Bible verse and to see how you can put this Bible verse in your daily in your, in your daily life. So uh, this Bible verse about two men who are standing in front of God. One is a tax collector, uh, one is a, uh, a sinner, a Pharisee, uh, and one is praying like, "Oh God, I'm so thankful that uh, thankful that." Um, uh, that, um, that um, that I'm such a good believer, that, that I pay my taxes, and I do this and this and this for you. And the other man, and the, and the other man go, uh, went and stand in front of God, and he said, Oh God, forgive me, I am, I am such a sinner. So why do I love this Bible verse now in this season of my life? Because, because for me, I have to remind myself every day, like... Um, be, uh, as I said before, because now it's summer, so maybe I can go out and, and maybe see other other girls who are be wearing maybe really short clothes, maybe really short, really short shorts, and maybe really short dresses, and maybe show so much skin, and uh, and, and maybe um, uh, maybe. Or it's really easy. To, it's really easy for us to judge them. Say, oh my God, I don't know how she wears this, and um, so much skin, and I'm so happy. I'm so happy that um, that I have my mother's dress on, and um, and thank you God that I'm not like her, or that I know my value, values, or I'm, I have standards, and blah 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 blah, and uh, and you know. Uh, uh, but 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 real modesty is real modesty is at that moment is if, if at that moment if I see a girl like we like wearing really short shorts or or, or, or a dress who's too tight too short who's too revealing too revealing the uh, too revealing that uh, uh, when I look at her I don't look at her I don't look at her yes I am better because I am dressed modest or I'm dressed better or or. Or in this way. Now, when I look at her, when I look at her, I see her as my sister. I see her as my sister, and my heart breaks for her. my heart breaks for her. And why does why does our hearts need need to break for this for, uh, for this kind of girls or for the kind of, or for this kind of boys? Because now now you know boys and girls are not dressed really different. Because it's also for the boys, it's a lot of skin and a lot of I don't know a lot of tight and a lot of short. Uh, I don't know. So. When we see this person who is dressed really, uh, um, uh, who is showing a lot of skin, um, at this moment our hearts, our hearts need to break because we need to look at them with the eyes of God, and we, uh, we need to see them as as images of God. And at that moment, my heart breaks because I know, because I know that this girl or this boy, nobody. Uh, 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 Nobody, nobody dress in that kind of way without a reason. So I'm always curious, uh, curious of, of of the reason, if I'll be honest. Reason why you why you dress like this, or why you uh, or, or why you choose to dress like this, and and uh, and it's and, and it's all go back to uh, lack of self love. 
So because we are Christians and, and God put so much love on us, God put so much love on us, so much love on us, and we as Christians, we have something so unique that we put so much love on us. That's why for us it's more easy. It's more easy for me to say no, um, no, I don't wear this kind of things because I know I know I'm loved by God. I am loved by God. God loves me, and uh, uh, and my body is a, uh, my body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. But can you, could you imagine if I was not a Christian if and, and, and if I didn't know that God loved me? I, I am for sure, for sure, for sure I would I would dress I would dress the same or the same or maybe even worse. So so uh, so, so that's why we we need mercy at this time. We need mercy at this time because these people don't know Christ. And how do we show mercy? We don't show mercy by gossiping about them like, oh, this girl's, this girl's wearing this. It's too revealing. It's too this. It's too this. Because sometimes we also can get jealous because maybe we see a really pretty girl and she's showing, she, 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 she is, she's showing so much skin. And maybe you get jealous. You say, maybe if... Uh, um, Maybe um, maybe no boy would notice me because she is, she is so much skin. I can never compete with us because then we need to do an examination of our heart. Like why why we as Christians are judging are judging non Christian girls or judging non Christian boys who are not wear, dressing modesty. Is 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 our job? Is our, our job in this world? Our job in this world is to take so many people with us to heaven. That's our main job. Our job is not to to criticize, to to tell the people how they should live, or or to um, or 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 to say uh, no because God did. Some people don't understand this language, but there was one language that everybody understands. Everybody understands the language of God, of love, uh, of love. So sometimes we have to we have to act like Christians, but with, but without. Or, Without mentioning the word God or or this or this or this, so for now, for me, if I see a girl who is dressed really on mothers who's showing so much skin and uh, uh, my heart break for her, and then I try always, I try maybe um, maybe I am in the line of the supermarket or maybe I am on, on my bike or maybe I am somewhere I don't know I I, I have an appointment or I don't know just maybe at the dentist doesn't matter where and I see a girl who is dressed on mothers or a boy then direct I I have an um I have an um I have a pact with Mother Mary direct I pray a Hail Mary for this girl and I pray a Hail Mary for the girl then I ask God that she may that that she must uh, that she must know that, that that she is enough that she is enough she is that God made her perfect that she don't need to so much so much things she don't need she don't need to know that that one day that she must that she may know that God love her that she is a beloved daughter and that she is my sister in Christ so 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 my job so my job at this moment is maybe I see this maybe I see this girl for five minutes and I will never see her again but it's but in this five minutes it's my job to maybe to give her the most loving smile to maybe uh, maybe try to give her a compliment of her hair and just to do even if it's something so small as, as a smile or just saying hi or saying I don't know sometimes um, sometimes we have more time than other time but 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 this time but this time that we have with our sister in Christ is maybe to love on them, to love on them and not to judge them and not to look with eyes like, oh, I'm so much better and she, she is from this world and I am not from this world. I am from God. So, oh, uh, so, um, so I am here and she is here. No, no. God loves her more than you and love her more and God loves her more than me. So I also want to uh, uh, to give you an example before before I end this video, last year I was in London. I was in a faith conference. Uh, this faith conference was was, um, was for people from the age of 19 and 25. So uh, there were people for, uh, people from all around the world, and there was one girl who was um, who, who, st who stood up and and. Um, uh, at mass and she was reading reading the first reading but this girl uh, um she was 20 and um uh, let me take a sip of water and she was 20 and as she was as she stood up uh, uh, in church and reading the mass she was wearing wearing a blue dress but it was really see-through so because it's summer so the sun so this dress was really see-through and after mass like 
like uh, 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 like um, after mass everybody started to talk about her like oh I feel so bad for this priest because this girl was wearing this dress and I don't know what to do and how could she wear this in church and blah 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 so we start to like um, we start to, like uh, uh, like kill, killing this this girl with our words but of course of course we can think yes of course it's really easy we can think yes she uh, um, she she go um, um, uh, we were in, we are in church. Maybe you should know better, like dress different, and especially if you, if you stand up, like um, reading scripture. But uh, but we also have to but we also have to think we also have to think about about maybe this girl, uh, maybe this girl is not, is not a Christian, or, or or maybe somebody sent her sent her to this faith conference. Uh, we don't know her background. We don't know how, how the way how, how her mom dressed, how her grandma dressed. We don't know the environment, the environment where she grew up, because we we cannot expect like everybody if they know about God, boom, and tomorrow they're gonna act like Christians. Because we all know we are all not even doing, we are not even close like acting like Christians. So everybody was gossiping about her, like I don't know how she can do that, and blah 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 blah. So. At, so at at this time is is at this time is no time for talking or for gossiping because we have to know we are talking and gossiping about our sister. Our sister is not just a sister. No, she is a blood sister because she is a daughter of Christ. I am a daughter of Christ, and I am all and and uh, and I thought I am older than her. So my job is to go and to talk to her. But um, so um. So after lunch, so uh, so after lunch, after I was sitting at a table and everybody was was like talking about this girl in a Christian way, like I mean, like uh, uh, in a Christian way, like gossiping, and then they say, uh, "Let's pray for her." But but of course, it's good to pray for us. It's good to do this. It's good to do this. But the best thing how we can help, how we can help is with love, and we can go and we can do this with the confrontation of love. Like um, so after mass. Uh, uh, after lunch, so I went to her and I said, "Hi, I am Christina. Can I have a couple of minutes with you?" And then I said to her um, in, uh, in the most loving way, like, "Oh, I love the way you look. I love your dress. You were so beautiful, and she was really beautiful." But I have to be honest, your dress is really see-through, especially in the church, with um, especially in church with uh, um, with the sunlight. So I have some. So I have a present for you. I have something from the Netherlands for you. So um, so. I give her uh, one of my dresses, so and this girl and this girl, she was so touched by it because um, she made it. She made it to me. Yes, I, um, um, I had some friends from school. They invited me. They invited me. I'm not really Christian. I just the, uh, the faith walk is really new for me. So, but could you imagine if uh, if I didn't take this couple of minutes just. Just to sit with this girl and just to love on her, it's not a, uh, it's, it's not that we. Uh, the most important thing is, is as Christians is that we take each other's hands and we take each other's hands because I know because I made I am a Christian and I make everyday mistakes. So 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 it's not it's not for us in this summer. So please try this summer. If, if, so please try this summer. If you see a girl who you think should maybe dress better, act better, just try to do something loving for her. Maybe you know her. And maybe you, you can just do like me. You can go to the mall and you and you can you can make maybe a package for her. You can buy maybe just one dress or maybe one T-shirt and you can say like um, then maybe uh, you can sh share something with with her. But uh, but it's up to us. It's up to us afterwards that we build our own community and how can we build a community our community is built from love so it's no place for judgment it's no place for we as Christians are better than this world now we are all together and that's why we need to love each other and help each other so I hope this can encourage you motivate you and uh, I know know that I'm uh, know that I love you I'm praying for all of you and I will see you in my next video bye my dear ones